In this video, I'm going to see if I can build a steering system for this dolly so it could be convertible into a steerable wagon. As far as what I'm using, I'm going to try to only stick to scrap stuff I have around the house. So I have a tire iron I used whenever I upgraded those wheels. And I also have some spare steel from mounting the hose reel to my compressor and then just some random pipes and stuff. And also the 10 inch wheels that I replaced with the 13 inch wheels. He's a little rough around the edges. Okay, here's the cart. What I ended up doing is getting a scrap piece of wood right here and just drilling the exact same holes that was in that other piece because it was just too flimsy. Here's your other piece to compare to. Every time I loaded it, it would actually twist and torsion along the axis. I did not expect that to be that flimsy, so I definitely had to get a stronger material or shape. In this case, it was just a scrap piece of 2x4, and I also had a broken shovel handle that I put in here, and I just made a little clevis like this. So it can slide in and out. Now it works much better and there's basically no flex. So it works like it should. What I'm gonna do now is just quickly clean everything up with the wire wheel and then spray paint it. And then I'll show the end product. Okay, here's the cart after fully painting it. You can see I painted the wood, it came out nicely. Stuck the aluminum all right. I ended up putting bigger zip ties on here and just to make it more secure. So this is definitely not coming off. These are rated for like 100 pounds or something. I also put grease between all the moving parts like here, here, and I also put washers there so that the washers will slide between each other and uh, not wear out the wood or the steel here. Same thing for over here. I didn't put any washers on these. Uh, it's the aluminum directly on the steel, but I did grease them up, so they're okay. Same for the arms in here. Put grease here, here, so it can rotate. And I tighten down the bolts so that there's very little clearance so it's nice and tight steering. I cut off the excess steel from that tire iron and I just put a hose clamp on here to hold it since I didn't feel like drilling a hole through it. I don't know if I showed this earlier, but I also greased in between here on this clevis. To make this, all I needed was a reciprocating saw and I drilled a hole right here just to make a, a starting point so I could get a thin blade in here and cut outward like that. So it works pretty well. So here's a low test. I have 240s and 245, so that's 90 plus 80 or 170. Loaded fairly even. I don't plan on loading this uh, too much. I'm just going to be using this to like pull branches and stuff in the yard. But let's see how she does. And she's working really well. I can even push it and steer at the same time. She's steering right here. 
nice and tight. The key here is to make sure that everything's tight, but not too tight so that it binds. So in this video, I showed how to make a convertible steering system for a dolly using nothing but scraps that I had around the house. So that's it. Thanks for watching.